that's a good sound there. It comes all the way from the Tremolos, number 21 around this week's Fun 40. And a thing called Even the Bad Times Are Good. Hmm, I see. Got a few things missing around here that can't lay our hands on right now. And uh, the, the place is in a bit of an uproar. We're in a bit of a flap here. So uh, while we sort the flap out, I'm going to play another record. I say it's all very, 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 isn't it? This is good because of the uglies. Call and the square blew his horn. And charming. More tea, big guy. The foxes quake inside their holes. The wires vibrate on the telegraph poles. Cause not so very far away. The squire blows his horn because it's hunting day. But the lovers who are lying in the corn. They don't hear his dogs barking and uh, they carry on a larking as the squire blows that horn. The foxes leave their hills and start to run. The telephone wires start to sing and hum. The hounds and horses hurry by. And men in crimson jackets shout the hunting cry. But the lovers who are lying in the corn, they don't hear a single shout, cause they'd rather fiddle about as the squire blows that horn. <laughs> They catch the fox and uh, kill him dead. A big fat squire cuts off the fox's head. Cause he wants to uh, stick it in his hole so he can brag about it when his best friends call. Hello. But the lovers who are lying in the corn. This you'd never be believing what that corn it was concealing when the squire blew that horn. <laughs> So if you're ever lying in the corn And you should hear the squire blow his hunting horn It's time that you got up and started going When you hear the squire a blowing Cause you're in love but love is elementary so leave the hunting to the landed gentry. That's a brand new one. There comes from the Uglies, thing called, uh, and the squire blew his horn. There he is. Very frightfully, frightfully, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> right, here's little old Ross with some news for you. 20 minutes after 7. <laughs> 